The following program contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Road rage can be a dangerous and apparently also a stinky situation. In a fit of rage, a Pennsylvania driver has been accused of pooping on another person. The alleged defecator is a 69-year-old man was on his way to the doctor's office. Says a car pulled in front of him, so he got angry. Followed the driver. Never a good idea. They pulled over, exchanged words. There was apparently no physical altercation or physical fighting, but they were standing so close to each other. He says it got so stressful that the accused couldn't control his bowels, ended up defecating, and it ended up on the other man's pant leg. Yeah. Now, he says it was due to his IBS. Before we go down that pathway, let's just pull back a little bit. I've been Bro trying to work through road this rage since tool. last night. How you can defecate on another person's leg? Well, well he I, has I a think problem. he has, Is so, he, does it, backing oh. up a little bit, he says he has irritable bowel syndrome. So he has loose so stools. So he has loose stools and more, like, diarrhea-like. I've had feet. profuse diarrhea before, and I can tell you right now. And you've never had it dripped on your leg? I've never, on someone else's leg. <laughs> well, if, I, I mean, I, if, My understanding of this is that they were standing really close and getting up. Like mano a mano, yeah. if their if feet were in contact. it was a in, stressful situation, okay. and he just lost control. Okay, but no, so I'm wearing. I'm wearing, let's say, undergarments and pants. And if I lose my bowels, yeah, it may work its way down my leg, but I'm still trying to figure out how it gets on the other man's leg. If it's boxer <laughs> shorts or loose boxers, fitting pants, something loose fitting. It's long, and if or it's, maybe he's wearing shorts, and if it's also like boxers and liquid, shorts. It's just going to flow out. Yeah. And Wait, boom. You're, so you're, but you're presuming that this was all an accident. This could have been one of those, I'm going to get him. And, you know, if you, if you can control your bowels and let a little out and sling it on someone else. I suppose oh. it's possible, it but. It kind of brings mud slinging to a whole it does. different it level. It's poop slinging. But, yeah, poop slinging. But, you know, the, the moral of the story is just say no to road Absolutely. rage. Come on. Yeah. It's so bad for your health. And you're, you're also putting yourself in harm's way. You don't know who the other person is. They may freak out. You have no idea. Yeah, God forbid they have a true weapon, not just poop, and you get into this altercation and, with You know, them. the good old that's axiom, that. do unto others, and I think we all should, especially here in L.A., <laughs> yeah. the way we drive, it's think about it. Awful. Don't tailgate, because you don't want to be tailgated, right? Of course. Don't pull out in front of somebody while you're... They're part at a red light, and you, know, you have a green light, and they just decide, well, I'm going to make that right-hand turn. And if you yeah. do feel threatened, and you are the Perfect. person being followed, get yourself to a safe place. Don't necessarily drive straight home and then have this person pull into your driveway. You know, this is, yeah. heck, That's if you're going by a police station, you can even pull into the police station, because people lose their minds out in the road. Now, this whole yeah. pooping on someone else, I've never heard of it. This is a first for me. We know in medicine and, and certainly in the emergency department, it's not uncommon to get poop on you from patients um, because, yes, when people lose control of their bowels, things can go all over the place. Incidentally, I also do want to acknowledge that irritable bowel syndrome, which affects so many people, up to 15% of the population, and those who are truly affected with it can have these bouts where they, they are unable to control their bowels spasms can occur and, yeah, and and we're joking about this but with true irritable bowel, irritable bowel syndrome stress is a factor absolutely. and can absolutely well, cause you to lose stress, that I, control and then the other aspect of it is we know that feces carry tremendous bacteria so we talk about e coli we call that sac salmonella shigella so there is actually you know all joking aside some infectious risk and and true assault it, aspect of this so just kind you of You don't want to get so angry where you're losing control of your of your bodily sure. functions. So find a way if you do a lot of driving, especially in places where it can be trying at times, learn how to cope with it. It can come back to bite you. Literally.